Hi, I'm Chris Callow, Territory Agronomist for DeKalb Asgro here in West Central Illinois. And I'm Lance Tarchione, also Technical Agronomist for DeKalb and Asgro in West Central Illinois. So we're standing here today in front of a corn plot. Uh, we've been with our team today doing a little bit of product training. And one of the things that I always love about the, the uh, DeKalb lineup is the depth of the portfolio. And uh, as, as you stand here and you look today down through this corn plot, there's you know, about as far as the eye can see, there's DeKalb sign after DeKalb sign of all the different uh, hybrids that we have in the lineup. And, and there's a few good ones missing. And, and there, there, there's yeah. probably more than a few good ones missing. But yeah. uh, one of my previous colleagues always used to joke about how every year the lineup just got deeper and deeper and deeper. And, and uh, I think most people just thought he was talking BS because he was a sales guy. And, and the reality of it is that, that it's the truth. It does get deeper and deeper every year. And it actually makes all of our jobs a little bit harder mm -hmm. than it does easier because like in this case, this year, so there's three actual new germplasms between a 111 and a 116. And there's two versions of each one of those. So, so technically we introduced six brand new hybrids into the lineup, but we didn't kick six out. So automatically it's gotten quite a bit deeper. And, and, and again, that's just the 111 to the 116 germplasm. There's, there's a new 105 that's in two flavors, a, one, a 106 and a 107. So there's a lot of new stuff in the lineup uh, to talk about. Yeah, I, one of my least favorite questions to get from customers or dealers is, you know, what's your favorite hybrid? Um, I, I don't even really like what's your top three favorite hybrids because I've got eight or 10 products that could work well on every farm and eight or 10 products that all have about an equal chance of being the best on any given day in any given farm. And so the, the depth of the lineup gives us the ability to, whether you've got light soils or productive soils, whether you're entering the NCGA yield contest or you're hoping your corn makes 200 or you're a no-tiller or doing full tillage or you're aggressive fungicide management or you don't like using fungicide, you know, we've got the depth and the diversity of products and genetics to, to really match up well with you know every field on your farm and and that's what we try to get our dealers to focus on is is positioning those products by field by farm uh, utilize the whole lineup don't don't just sell three hybrids you know when you've got 15 great products you know use as many as you can on, on my own farm at home i plant 10 different hybrids i, I realize we're not going to get every customer to plant 10 different hybrids uh, but I'll always wish we could. Yep, absolutely, and and to play on the way you're talking about, like, to expand on, you know, we've got con several hybrids in the conventional. We've got some waxy hybrids. We've got Double Pro. We've got Tricepta. We've got Smart Stacks. We've got Smart Stacks Pro. So there's a lot of different, even when you think about the different traits and the different types of management that you want to go after, and whether that's food grade uh, premiums or not, right? I mean, we've got the answer to be able uh, to, to satisfy about anybody's need uh, within the within the lineup. Right, and, and and what gets Chris and I both excited, and at the same time scared is the portfolio of the future and when we start looking at our pipeline which is something that we're very excited about Chris just went through every every product he just mentioned that that's current today you know as we look forward to the future into smart corn or short corn uh, we look at VT4 Pro which will be a new uh, rootworm technology that we're bringing out um, you know, corn rootworm four, uh, looking further ahead into the future, uh, HT4, different herbicide tolerance package. There's a lot of new stuff coming, and and in every one of those different platforms, you know, you're going to have all this good germplasm, and and it all starts with the germplasm. I think that's something we forget to mention sometimes. We right. we get excited talking about traits, and and I've always said that you know if you've got average germplasm with traits in it, you've just got expensive average germplasm. Uh, it all starts with the germplasm. If you're going to make the trait look good, you got to have it in good genetics. And so we invest over half of our R&D spend in our breeding program is on germplasm. And, and that is a big focus uh, of our R&D investment each year is continuing to develop that new germplasm, enhance that germplasm, be that yield, agronomics, disease resistance, you know, new things like tar spot come along and, and we have to address those in our breeding program. And so that, that all starts with the genetics and, and then you just add the good traits in on top of that. Yeah, so I guess what we want you to take away from it is we're very proud of the brands we represent. We've got a lot of diversity, a lot of depth, a lot of consistent performing, great performing hybrids that we feel like we can fit the bill for about any acre that would be out there, any need that would be out there. We appreciate your business and uh, thanks again.